The River is a, a three-hander, it's a three-character play uh, about fishing, or is it? A man lives, owns a secluded cabin kind of out in the wilderness, and he spends time there uh, with women. We see two of those women through the course of the play. So it's kind of getting to the center of what their relationship is and why they're there together and kind of what's the meaning of it all. So, yeah, they're... Even when they're talking about fishing, they're not talking about fishing. Yeah, it's hard to talk about this play um, without kind of spoiling it for the audience because I, it's very elegiac and I think every audience member might take away something different from everyone else. I think it kind of delves into themes of is it ever possible to possess another human being and, and what does that mean and how do we unpack that. And, um, and I think every audience member will have different experiences because it is not a straight, cut and dry kind of realistic play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting into a relationship, um, we there are a lot of things that we overlook and uh, get so consumed by the idea of being in love with someone that you don't look at everything else that's around you. Um, until maybe it's too late. For me, it kind of gets to the center of what it means to chase love and what it means to chase connection with another human being, to want it, to want it, but to not know how to go about getting it. I don't know anyone who hasn't wrestled with that. And so that's the thing that I think that this play gets to in a really poetic way. It's extremely poetic, it's language driven, and it's character driven, um, almost spiritual in a way, because it tries, it tries to do the thing that theater does. How do we talk about, how do we capture those ideas which can, that are tangible? You know, I think it does that really well.